hi welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is francisca shali um yeah today is monday and i'm on my way out um i'm finally going to get my bros done <laughs> i've been waiting like yeah my sister tells me i have divorced my bros so time to get them done um i also believe when i get my eyebrows done at least i learn how to put on makeup because i think eyebrows are the hardest <laughs> according to me and um leave alone even according to me i think if you have your eyebrows and your lashes done i think issue. so i'm really looking forward to um starting that new journey as in i wanted to learn how to do my makeup for a while With this big age of mine i don't know how to put on makeup yeah so um I do believe that having my eyebrows done is going to motivate me to get um, some really nice um, makeup products. I mean, it's going to motivate me to learn to um, do my makeup. So, guy, my battery is flashing. So, um, I'm going to I'm going I'm going to show you where I'm going. Um, it's in town, and uh, I've just requested from my Uber. Um, yeah, he's on his way. So, let me just show you my outfit of the day before my battery dies. And I think you're just gonna get used to seeing me in this black t-shirt. But anyway, let me show you. So this is my outfit of the day. This black cap. Um, this black t-shirt that you saw in the other vlog. This black jeans that I got from H&M. And this um, sandals that I got sometime last year mm. during the summer. And um, this bag from Sheen that's written Jesus. Um, the way is the way, the truth, and life. Yeah yes and that's my outfit so let me wait for my uber i need to leave my camera so that i can charge meaning i'm gonna be forced to use my phone but anyway yes and then my scent of the day is this cute little perfume i love 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 this cherry smoothie it smells amazing so um let us head over there Imagine it's a bit too many excuse, baka. Baka ni no tripod. Now that's just a no tripod line. Anyway, not only a tripod but also I need lights. Yeah. So um, I just got home. It's uh, that time. 2013. I left the house at 11ish, 11 ish. 11 or 12. 12. They're about yeah 12. And signed on a roadie, but I'd gone to like meet up with my friend and we really had a good time the guy that makes my nails yeah it's so nice so i was just really chilling at his shop in town anyway um i got my eyebrows done and i got them done at um that shop which i know is she lk beauty studio um they are located at bazaar plaza eighth floor um wing wing a suite 8 16. yeah bazaar is located along Moy, Moy avenue no, Moy, yeah, Moy avenue and um i'm giving myself time for these things to grow on me um, for me to grow them i don't know i mean this is something new i've never done this before and Yes, as much as I wanted them, I wanted to get them done, still, you know, but I think I look nice, just that they make me look more mature. <laughs> they make me look more mature because this was, I've shown you how I looked and this is how I look now, honestly. Yeah, my, eh? I'm really proud of myself. Like, I'm really getting out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to lie. The things that I've gotten to do, I was, yeah, the things that I've gotten to do, do, do during this period of time, that this one week that I've been in Nairobi, hey, honestly, me, I'm proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. So, getting this done is such an achievement. It's such a big, big accomplishment. Accomplishment, yes. And I'm really proud of myself. So, um, I paid 10K for this. And I saw this on, uh, let me see, on a girl. I, 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 I have subscribed to that girl's YouTube, YouTube channel. I really can't seem to, like, pronounce her name. But uh, let me look for her because I saw her on this page. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Um, at, Atuti. Oh, Atuti Ann. Yeah, Atuti Ann. 
an atuti atuti an i saw i saw i saw her tag that page and i was like yeah because again the price was really reasonable for 10k to get your eyebrows like to get this done i feel like that's a very big um save honestly compared to the other pages that i saw so i was like yes um i'm gonna give it a try and also if you look at the if you look at her work her work is really really amazing so i was like yes i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get my eyebrows done by her yes and just to show you like just look at that so perfect for that price so so perfect and um she also does um lash extensions and skin tag removal and uh, micro needling and also waxing this is not an advertisement you know me i plug you to people who are really like to people who i know i've tried them myself and i know so this is not an ad i paid fully for everything and um me again if your customer service is amazing trust me you have me you have me forever because if you yeah if you want to get your eyebrows done just go and check her out she's really nice she's really kind she's really patient and she's really friendly so yes. hi my beautiful people welcome back to this vlog today is friday <laughs> and please um i'm still in this i usually wear this modern rock in it was in english gown he so you know it this one and um, and um eh, i usually wear it in the house because i mean it's really warm i love it and it's really really comfortable um so this is the progress of my eyebrows and um, they have started peeling and uh i'm really loving them like i i i am now getting used to them like i'm getting used to my new face so i'm really really happy about them um today is day three and uh, so the healing is really nice um i haven't like had that itchy feeling maybe i'm gonna have it later um yeah i'm really really happy so it is currently 13 47 um, i haven't left the house since wednesday ah, it's just been a day <sighs> yeah because i realized i noticed leaving the house is expensive so i told myself i'm just gonna stick in the house and um i'll just leave when necessary so i really have nothing to do outside so i've just been in the house chilling cleaning and um just chilling and just praying and doing what i'm supposed to do yes yeah, so um i haven't made my bed yet i want to make my bed and then to go and make some lunch as i clean the kitchen i laugh um, as i do that i'm listening to this bible teaching by john carson by the way if you want to like if, if there's if there's a chapter in the bible that you don't understand i'd highly highly recommend listening to john carson he literally has a whole website this one i'm going to put it on the screen johncarson.com i'm a search light um by john carson just if you there's a verse in the bible i mean there's a chapter in the bible that you don't understand just go to that site he's literally taught the bible he's a good really good bible teacher he's taught the bible from genesis to exodus every chapter and um anytime i just if there's a verse that i don't understand Amma, i just want to like have to listen to the bible um i listen to him because he teaches in such a broad way and in a way that you can understand so this is how it looks this is how the site looks i'm gonna post a screenshot uh, a screen recording and um kwa home kuna kwa home page kuna Bible teaching, Bible teachings, radio, podcast, store, contacts, whatever, whatever. So in the Bible teaching section, there's literally everything. So again, if you really want to learn the Bible, Ama, if you're a new Christian, a Bible Christian, and you're looking for um, a way to learn the Bible, I'd highly, highly recommend this. This is usually such an elite meal. Hey, um, so I'm having this Akenyeji greens. Uh, my best friend made them for me. Um, so ni terere, kunde, and managu, and then some rice, and then some fried egg, and then for my fruits, I'm having um, some pieces of melon, and then I have pineapple just right there. I love it. After that, I start on cleaning. What time is it? Six minutes to three. So let me eat.
a new fridge so i want to show you <laughs> as i clean it up and because this is something that this is something that i wanted for so long i wanted i was supposed to get this fridge in 2022 but then i didn't i got it this year in um feb so this is the let me switch on the lights this is the hisense um combi fridge um i've wanted this fridge for so long it has a dispenser i got it mainly because of this dispenser it's salty i don't know whether it's salty or hard water i hate that i really hate that anyway um i got it because it has a dispenser i wanted a fridge that has a dispenser and a fridge that's um affordable and how many liters is this by the way um i don't know how many liters it is but um this is how i wanted like the the the, the, the freezer to be at the bottom and this other part equate room yeah you know so this is how it looks in the inside and um this is how the door looks um it has a water um storage yeah could dispense magic and then it has how many shelves one two three and then a fruit and vegetable box um and then the freezer this is how the freezer looks like it has three compartments so i have a lot of boiled food and chapels my best friend did that for me cooked that for me and then that part and this part so I really, really, I, I'm honestly so proud of myself for getting this for myself. And I just love it. I really, really, really love it. But it's Jipanga aesthetically because I haven't gotten the containers. I think I'll get those when I come back. Um, but yeah, so long as it's working and it's functional with or without the... <laughs> the boxes i know it looks really funny like we arrange very funny the cabbage is supposed to be in here instead of up there but that's what i want to arrange yes and then now i am a fan of sparkling water my mom is the one who taught me to be taking sparkling water there's just something about sparkling sparkling water that is just amazing it doesn't taste good but it just does something to the body that makes me so happy so yeah this is my new fridge which i'm very 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 impressed with um i got this from hisense kenya hisense africa hisense kenya the shop next to sarova stanley i don't know what that street is called but um i saw that page on this that page on tiktok again and they delivered it i bought it for 85,000 plus 3k delivery so i ended up paying no 4k delivery i ended up paying 40 89k yes yes but it's it's I, that that is something that um i'm really like i can't complain about the price honestly i've wanted it for so long so yeah <music> Trust the right, don't have to be 
whatever you like You don't have to be ready You just gotta trust the right You don't have to be scary You just gotta follow the light You're able to be happy You can do whatever you like plant from Yasin. I bought it from Yasin. <laughs> and uh, it's a banana leaf. They are banana leaves. So um, I told him not to purchase. He purchased it for me from Gikomba, I think. And I told him not to get a vase because I have one that's in the balcony. So I want us to assemble this thing because I don't even know how I'm gonna do like I don't know I don't know how it's done <laughs> but let's try it's pretty tall um, and I do believe when I put it in like in a vase and you know my vases have those stands it's gonna be really really it's gonna look nice so come on do it so that's my height I'm five one two they're about and tunatoshana so nikiweka kwa flower vase takwa mahali tafika hapo if i'm not wrong but let's try so i think i'm just supposed to like stick them in the flowers in the not in the flowers but in the soil you get because you need mahali this is actually to the bottom so i think i'm just supposed to like stick them inside the the the, the, the soil and maybe just like spread these leaves Right, so let me bring the flowers. <laughs> Not the flowers, but the pot. Yes, I have it in the balcony. So this is the pot that had. Um, so remember, I bought that snake plant and uh, the ilwa palm, 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 palm leaf. Yeah. So ilia ribika when I left. Nahema. It 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 got nini. Um, it got rotten, it rotted because there was no one to, uh, to water it. So my best friend just removed it. And uh, sorry, I was out of room. So this is what we're left with. I'm so glad I didn't throw away this pot. I'm just going to add um, any twaji, these stones, and then it's going to look nice. Um, I don't know where I'm going to place that one. But I'm thinking maybe place it at the corner. I don't know because I don't want them to be too. But okay, let's try. place them inside to insert them inside that soil um i'm, <laughs> I'm using these three um, hard um soil to support the two plants this one stems this one and this one yeah so i'm conflicted between placing it there there <laughs> um that corner right there or here 
because um apa um, i'm not 100 percent sure although i really wanted it to go here but the space is too small but i haven't even tried i feel like the, the space is pretty small because this um tv stand is pretty long you know but i'm gonna try all four places and then we see oh now you see it's taller than me now <laughs> so cute position one it's not giving so we try there position two <laughs> i don't know how i feel about it because um although it looks nice just that i don't know karma wait let me stand up i'm sorry for moving you a lot um i don't know i don't know how i feel i feel it looks nice but at the same time i don't know um yo i think it looks nice at the same time it doesn't <laughs> Because every let me try moving the sofa, neon and come I can create space. Imagine me, I'll just have it there. I've pushed the sofa, but then I've noticed um, um, it's moving so far away. Because you have to remember that this house, this side, I mean the TV, whatever, um, e wall yeah, TV, it's not as long, you know. So the more I move the sofa on this side the more it's kind of like looking the whole setting is looking unproportional i'll just have it like that and then as i figure out how i'm gonna place it but i think it looks nice especially when you're coming from outside yeah the, yeah it looks nice and i'm gonna stick with that so that plant um that artificial plant was 5k yeah so um yasin is done who got it for me and he has a lot of options so just dm him I'ma call him. I'ma send him a WhatsApp message, and he's gonna get to you, get back to you. Um, so I am done with this vlog. Excuse my socks on the table and my bonus. So I'll end this vlog here. Um, nime choka. <laughs> Putting those things inside is not a joke. Yeah. So um, I'll end it here. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and uh, I love you so much. But please remember that God loves you more than you could ever ever imagine. Yes. I'll see you on my next one. Bye bye.